Young burn survivors coming together in Akron for self healing, camaraderie, and self confidence. Their scars only making them stronger. The Now's Jennifer Awe has more on this very special program. I mean, Jennifer, these kids and their families, they've been through a lot. They have, Karina. and many of these children experiencing painful burns that have left many scars. For example, wearing a bathing suit can be very uncomfortable, but not today on Fire Truck Day. It's a day where kids can just be kids. These children with their bright, smiling faces have a story to tell. One that most kids or even adults have never experienced. Blacker caught fire and it exploded onto me. In fact, all of these children have been treated at Akron Children's Burn Center. They helped me a lot with walking and like ignoring all the people who didn't truly know me. Colson Miller has a twin, but unlike his brother, he's a burn survivor. His mother saying hardships can either tear a family apart or bring them closer. You would just rather trade places with them. I mean, seeing your son laying there and you just just wanted to fix it and make it all better. And her family choosing the latter. Knew that I couldn't be a puddle of mush, you know, at the hospital because I had to be strong for Colson. But on fire truck day during burn camp, kids like Colson have a place to return to. He looks forward to it every year where they can just feel normal. He, everybody here has scars and burns and it just boosts his confidence like a hundred degrees. More than 20 fire engines complete with sirens. No one walks away dry from this splash party. Burn camp, you can feel like you're a part of something like, and you're not different. The nonprofit aluminum cans for burned children making these clouds of soap for some wet bubbly fun. Everybody here is exactly the same and special at the same time. There was such a great vibe at that event. I was told that Fire Truck Day is just as powerful experience for the firefighters who attend as the children. The first responders get to check on those who save them in the tech center. I'm Jennifer Ah, reporting for the Now Cleveland. Oh, such a great story, Jennifer. Thank you.